Um, we just finished one of the craziest weeks of free agency I think any of us have ever seen being around this game for a couple decades here. Los Angeles has changed significantly. LeBron has another superstar companion in Anthony Davis, and the Clippers became a title contender literally overnight, adding Kawhi <laughs> and agreeing to a trade uh, for yes, Paul George. <laughs> All right, so, gentlemen, name your better duo for the next two years. LeBron and AD, or Kawhi and Paul George? Paul, who There's you got? There's no question Kawhi and Paul George. I mean, Paul George is coming off of an MVP caliber season, and we all know what Kawhi Leonard did in the playoffs and in the finals. Um, don't, don't take anything away from LeBron. LeBron is still great. AD is still great. But these guys are trending up. I just, I mean, you got two of the top two defensive perimeter players in the game right now, one and two. You know what I agree? And I don't know I who's agree. number one. I agree with Paul Pierce. Um, I would go Kawhi and Paul George only because you've got two guys in the middle of their primes mm -hmm. at the same time. The best two two-way players in the game. They can both close a game, and I don't see any ego or any issue going to stand in the way and who's, who's rolling that night. So I, I would say those two. First of all, even if they're on different teams, the answer is Bobby and Toby. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually make it unanimous. I'm going to go Kawhi and PG. I mean, I, I've, I, I'm a huge Kawhi fan. I thought he was the MVP two years ago. Um, and, and I guess the deal, the tiebreaker for me is LeBron's age right. and a little bit of uncertainty of how much can he bring on defense every night, and is he now is he prone to another injury? I don't know. So I'll go by a little teensy bit Kawhi and PG. I am curious on both sides where the injury and health issues are going to rest, sure. right? Is Kawhi Leonard going to load manage through this next season again? On the one hand, he's not coming off the same season he was coming off two seasons ago. But he said the reason why I'm in these NBA finals and able to play is because we did that load management. Mm -hmm. He was hurt even then, right, guys, during the yes, NBA yeah. finals. So he was still managing. And we heard him at the beginning of the playoffs say, hey, regular season game, those are just like practices. This is the real part of the year. I don't know how much. How do you expect Kawhi to approach this next season? Well, I think he, he it's going to be easy because he has Doc Rivers there. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not going to take a chance. They, they took a big gamble this year getting both of those guys. They want them to be healthy down the stretch. But that's the benefit of having good depth right. on your team. Yes. And they're going to they have a good bench. They'll be fine. I mean, he knows he can tell you more than anything playing with Doc. I mean, I'm sure they'll keep him fresh. Doc is going to watch this closely. He knows what he has over there. And Doc, holds thing, his whole thing is, let's be ready for the playoffs. We're going to use the regular season to tune up. Mm -hmm. And once playoffs comes, I want everybody fresh mm -hmm. and uninjured. And that's when we make our run because we all know the team that is not injured mm -hmm. yeah. is the team that's going to be the favorite. I mean, we see it every, every year. year. Injuries are a major factor in the playoffs and the finals every year. I remember with your 2008 team, Paul, that when because you guys were an older group, uh, that was the year that Doc started in investigating. Hey, maybe we won't have morning shoot around. Maybe we'll do five o'clock yes. shoot arounds instead. That sort of thing to try to. Manage That's when you we guys. started lessening our practices. Wasn't out there as long. Took days off. I think that may have been the start of low management. We probably didn't do it as, as much in the game, but we definitely did during practice. The answer is going to be in Los Angeles. Whatever Kawhi wants to do, whatever he feels comfortable with, that's what they're going to do. And it'll be interesting to see if they hire more people on their sports science staff, if they hire particular people for their sports science staff. Are you saying that Alex McKechnie I don't can know make what, a I don't to know Los what, Angeles? I don't know what his contract status is, but I know that if Kawhi says, I want that guy, that guy, and that guy, those guys are probably going to be there. Absolutely. It's an amazing era, by the way. In our first segment, David Griffin name-dropped Aaron, who he brought from the Suns over to load. <laughs> Alex McKechnie's getting airtime. The training staffs of these teams, the athletic trainers, are a big part of what players feel comfortable about, well, it's right? Become, it's become a huge deal. I mean, you talk about loads man load management and, you know, paying attention to how many practices the guy practices minutes he plays in the games I mean that trainers they, they almost make the the active roster you know there's, I yeah. know a lot of coaches that come in and say I don't know who's playing tonight it there's depends older, on what the trainer there's says. older players that go to certain franchise just because of the training staff because, yeah. we saw Shaquille O'Neal do that in Phoenix yeah when they had one of the top training staff and that Brad is who, Hill did the same thing and by the way that that training that 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 is who Griff was Griff just had. talking about who he yes. brought to the Pelicans mm -hmm. for yes. that reason. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.